here's some coordinates can we search for this license plate now whether that's true or not I don't know maybe that's just me gently placing the tinfoil hat on my head nope I watched a no it, I didn't watch it it was a <clears throat> it was an episode of Radio Lab where they talked about uh, how over certain US cities there's drones that are videotaping 24 7 and they've used it multiple times that when a crime's committed they just go where'd the crime take place look at the footage and then just rewind the time forward or backwards and find out where they came from and exactly where they were and catch people within minutes good the problem is when you you know start using that for other things which is what people get afraid of yeah which, which never is under- made- it, it's understandable that people would get afraid of them, become afraid of them. But, I mean, you have to have some level of trust that the people protecting us, the law enforcement agents, the government, have our best interest in mind. I've never understood people who are afraid of things like that, though, because the only reason why you'd be afraid is if you were doing something... If you were something. doing something elite, terribly illegal yourself. I mean, if you're an upstanding citizen, citizen, you shouldn't really have anything to worry about. All right, so we'll put we'll put the government talk on hold okay. just for a second. Do a little intro. Hello, everyone. Welcome to episode four. I'm Colin, and I'm Duncan. And uh, I guess we're going into uh, government surveillance. I mean, if you're a law-abiding citizen, you should have absolutely nothing to worry about, unless you're doing something illegal. Okay, so we, we've talked about private life, and you want yeah. your private life to be kept private, which yeah. makes sense. I think everyone kind of agrees with that. But how do you feel about being monitored 24-7? I mean... I mean, I'm not doing anything illegal, so fucking go ahead, you're wasting your time. I guess we should start with, do you think we're being monitored 24-7? No, because it's a waste of taxpayers' money. It's a waste of money to be moni- to monitor people who aren't actually a threat. So you, you, don't, you don't think your computer's watching you? TV's listening? If it is, go right ahead. I have absolutely, like, I'm not doing anything illegal. Yeah. I mean, unless you count drinking... Is Iron Brew illegal in Canada? No. Then... <laughs> um, You're wasting your time. So, away. okay, if the, if the government came out and was open and said, about it... And said, ev- we're monitoring everyone. Crime has gone up X amount of percent in the last year or two. So we're going to try this out. Yeah. We're going to monitor everyone 24-7. Yeah. Would you fight against that? If that's what needs to be done. All right. I, th- I think we agree. I mean, on that. in a dire situation, like, if it came down to martial law and everyone had to be back home by a certain time, I'd be like, if that, wants, it's, if that is what needs to be done to keep our society safe, yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna, I'm, because I don't want to be, sh- I don't want to be thrown in jail for no, disobeying I, rules. I feel like that's pretty, pretty that's universal. Just, like, so yeah, I'm going to comply. I'm going to be a quote unquote sheep. Now, because guess what? Life in the flock is a <laughs> lot safer than life in the woods with the wolves. So, if I don't know where I'm going with this. How was your weekend? It was good. Or not weekend, but week. My week uh I turned into a squirrel. Oh. The entire week. Or, or some sort of small, twitchy animal. Um, was I, You're going to have to explain this to, to me, because well, I feel like... I, I half mentioned it, I think, last week, but uh, UFC's in town. Yeah. And so I know there are fighters that I adore. The weigh-in was last night. They're, they're walking around, and I'm just... I know people can't see what my head's doing, but I'm... You look like... I'm you, constantly you... alert... Because I just want to see one of them. Because I'm a big fan, so that was that was half the reason why it took longer to come here. Because I took a you, little detour. You were taking a little detour. Just did you go to? Were they doing a signing today before the fight? Or? No, that was yesterday. Oh, that was yesterday. Uh, okay. I, I didn't go to that because they were like, "Here's the the chumps." And I was like, "Oh, all, all the people." Oh, okay. <laughs> the actual big names have better things to do than go out and meet the fans, the yeah. adoring public. Uh. But did you check for emails? Did I check what? Did you check for emails? I did. Okay. Still nothing. No comments. No emails. Keep it up, guys. <laughs> I love it. Um. 
So that's been the majority of my week, but um, I think I said yesterday that I'd watch it, and I told you I checked out, uh, what is it, the saga of Tanya the Evil? Yeah, checked it out. Don't care for it. It's, yeah, yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Uh, I only watched the first episode, but I'm, I'm real picky with anime. Yes, you are. And I, I don't know what I'm looking for, because I hate mainstream anime, but I like, what is that mainstream genre? Shonen? Yeah. There are parts of that I like, like, Reborn is kind of a shonen, but it's not popular, so I like it. You ever think that you're just a hipster? Oh, uh, no, I, to- I, I don't disagree with that. Okay. I'm an anime hipster. You're an anime, well, anime, movie, Well, music. I mean, I can't say that, actually, because I love Gurren Lagann, I love Evangelion, I love JoJo. Those are pretty big. Mmm... Kind of. They're not Naruto big. No, but... they're not Naruto big. Definitely not. Or One Piece. Um, so I never really know what I'm looking for, and I, I have to get back into like going on YouTube and watching like, here's ten anime you should check out. In like, Ooh. while a lot of times they're garbage, one in eight videos you might find one anime that you're like, I might check that out. It's too much of a waste of my time to just watch an episode because oh that paragraph sounds neat. Yeah, the par- the, the synopsis usually s- makes it sound better than it actually is. So so give me a clip just from it, and I'll go, like, do I like the art style? Is it funny? Is the action cool? Uh, you know, then I might check it out. Um, other than that, uh, beat Dream Drop Distance. I'm glad to have that out of my life. It's a fun game, but I don't know. It was a drag near the end. Started playing Kingdom Hearts point two, which what? Yep. Wait, what? Kingdom Hearts zero point two. So, Dream Drop Distance was two point eight. No, two point eight is the bundle. Uh, what? Of Dream Drop Distance point two, and key back cover. What? <laughs> two point eight was just the name of the whole bundle, which didn't make sense because. 2.8 was the name of a bundle. Yeah. Oh my god, Square Enix. Get your na- get your numbering conventions under control. Well, the, the point 2 even makes less sense because of where it fits in the timeline. Oh, Jesus. Because it's not really point 2. It's a sequel to to one of the first games in the se- Well, the second game in the series. So I, I don't know how they get point 2 of oh, that. Oh my god, come on. That's insanity. But that is actually like that's just that's fucking. Insane. Oh, we'll, we'll go down a rabbit hole in a minute. Okay. But the gameplay is growing on me, but it's so clearly Kingdom Hearts three is coming eventually. <laughs> Someday. So here's an alpha, and when I say alpha, I mean what the video game world calls alphas now, which is a finished game that they call an alpha that they fix later. Um, because there's just little things that aren't quite right. I don't think the gameplay is super there yet. And, like, little things like, um, the games all have a, a scan, and the enemy's health is up in the top corner, and it just seems a little too small coming off of... Now, maybe this is because the last game I played was a handheld game blown up, so the scan bar was enormous, but now it seems really small. Um, I don't know, it's pretty, and it makes me go, yeah... I'd like to play Kingdom Hearts 3 eventually. Um, but the other thing I did this week, and it was my movie of the week, and it it didn't start out as the movie of the week, because I thought this was going to be 15 minutes, and it ended up being 80. Of Kingdom Hearts key back cover. Okay. Which is now the... What? Very first thing in the timeline now. Is this a game? It's a movie. A movie now. Yes. A full-length movie that came out. Okay. Uh, I would recommend never watching it. <laughs> Fan of the series or not. It is baffling. They're like, hey, things that... So, so okay. A, a brief breakdown of the timeline. Uh, I'm Hopefully I don't fuck this up. It goes... Um, Goes the movie, back, uh, key back cover, 
Then it goes uh, Key, which is the mobile phone game. Then goes Birth by Sleep. Then Kingdom Hearts 1. Then Chain of Memories. Then 358 Days Over 2. What? Then Kingdom Hearts 2. Then Kingdom Hearts Recoded. Then Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance. Then Kingdom Hearts 0.2. Then Kingdom Hearts 3. So that's the timeline. And, and there's concepts in, in Dream Drop Distance that they introduce, which is fine. When you're the newest thing in the series, mm-hmm. introduce whatever you want. Yeah. But then the movie goes, oh, those things, they've been important all along. Just ignore that they have, they're never talked about in the eight games that go between these two things. So that's stupid. It, it's, it's just bad. It's so confusing. There's two characters that don't even have a character design. So they just design them like pre-existing characters and go, eh, that's fine. And I know that's not what they're going to look like. And now I'm hearing bullshit rumors that the character whose name is currently just the Master of Masters... The Master of Masters. ...is now going to be Sora's dad, or or it's going to be Sora from the future. Uh, Just release the third game. That series is becoming more of a train wreck every day. But that's enough of a Kingdom Hearts rant. Because other than that, I haven't really done a whole lot. How about you, Duncan? Well, still playing Grand Theft Auto. Joined a crew that's actually doing stuff. Yep. Found a sugar daddy. Mm Mm-hmm. Because very early on, I found out that playing a male avatar on that game just gets me shot. Every time. Whereas, if I play a female character... People just throw money at me. People that thirsty on the internet? People are that thirsty on the internet, and I take full advantage (laughs) of it. Because I'm a scumbag. But, it's a double-edged sword. So on the one hand, people throw money at me on. On the other hand, there's been some real creepy shit. Like, sex sex propositions? A baby want a cyber? Good old habbo hotel days? Oh, Jesus. There there were a few guys... (laughs) They were just like, hey, let me take a look at your avatar. Your avatar's real pretty. Here's some money. That sounds then, like Sugar Daddy. And uh, it, it went further on to the point where I just had to turn off the PlayStation and just go take a, just take a, shower. Take a shower just to clean the filth off me. <laughs> it was just... It, people get weird. Yeah. But that's the internet. That's why I stay off the internet. Um, Don't play those online games. Raven Rebirth, the mm-hmm. comic. That wrapped up. Yep. Um, it was nice to see her in kind of the stand like a recent standalone kind of comic series. Um, but I found it was kind of lackluster and. I mean, hey, here's Raven. Here's what she can do. Uh, we don't know what we're going to do with her. Here you go. Teen Titan. Read Teen Titans. Rebirth. And I sat there going like, well, I mean, I guess it was nice to see them use Raven for something other than in a team setting. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I, I read the, the first issue, and I, I liked the idea of... Raven trying to just deal with normal life and, with and a with a heavily Christian family. I mean, that's something I can kind of relate to. My parents weren't overly religious, but we I, went. I just like the idea of it. But I'm glad you told me it's only six issues. Cause yeah. Now I just probably won't bother. Yeah, I mean, it's. I'd like to see them do more with Raven, but I, but. After reading all those six issues, I'm just like, they're just going to ship her right into Teen Titans and we're never going to see a solo series ever again. And that's kind of disappointing. Now, what if you, what if everyone gets a uh, solo series? <clears throat> I don't think so. I, I'm like, I'm really only interested in it. I'd really like... I'd really only be interested in a Raven solo series. Maybe a Beast Boy. I mean, he's kind of interesting. The whole shape-shifting 
animal. Never cared for him. He... He's the one that kind of needs to be on a team because he's comic relief, and I couldn't imagine him having his own solo series. No, I mean, I feel like there's... I mean, that's not even just a Beast Boy problem. I find that there's a lot of comic characters that I would never want to see them by themselves. But they're great with other people. Yeah. Um, Riri Riri Williams as uh, the new Iron Man Mm -hmm. taking over for Iron Man... Um, it started off pretty strong, but in the latest issue, that's not it, what what is it? In, uh, issue number four, it's kind of, I don't know, it's, it, it, the first three issues were really, I found really interesting, it was kind of her developing her kind of her origin what happened in her past developing her own iron man suit yeah or her own iron her own suit i should say because and then uh tony stark's ai just comes in and is like hey i can help i can be your ai instead of that kind of not true ai you've got running in your and so she kind of, he kind of mentors her in how to make her own Iron Man, Iron Man suit, which is like her superhero name. He's kind of, it's kind of that they have this neat kind of back and forth where they're talking about her name because she doesn't want to go by Iron Man. He throws out uh, Fee Male, Fee F E being yeah. the atomic uh, or not the periodic table of table elements, of elements uh, for iron. Yeah. Um, and then... He, I mean, that might be the worst thing that, I've ever heard. That is the worst thing I've ever heard like come out of Tony Stark's mouth other than mus- uh, other than facial hair, uh, hair bros. Like, he, there was... With Doctor Strange. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Too. That was... Like, I just sat there and I was like, Tony, stop. Tony, you're drunk. Go home. <laughs> um, but, um... Then later, she's like, uh, he's kind of like, you need to go see help. I mean, you're obviously suffering from the loss of your best friend and your father who were shot. Um, And she's like, no, I don't need help. I just need work and I need my inventions. That's all I need. And she's like, you know, this really isn't healthy, blah, 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 blah. And she kind of yells at him and says, don't you tell me what's not healthy. And then... He kind of says, "You know what your name is, Iron. You know, well, you know what would be a good Iron, superhero name for you, Ironheart." That's not terrible. It's not terrible, and I kind of like it. But at the same time, it sounds kind of goofy. It's a little goofy. Yeah. Um, but definitely enjoying that. Um, Iron Doom. What? Doctor Doom's, like I don't want to be a bad guy anymore. Um, Tony Stark's dead, I'm gonna become the new Iron Man. So you've got this weird kind of, you've got Riri, and then you've got Victor Von Doom, both being Iron Man, at this, trying to be Iron Man at the now, same time, and it's got, it's, because he's fighting with S.H.I.E.L.D. and Ben Grimm, and now apparently his mother is back from hell, and it's just like, what is going on? So, so Marvel obviously going through a big change in Mar- the last couple yeah. of months with Marvel now. Marvel now, uh, just after and Civil War, Civil War Two, done. Do you think they? And now I I hate that this is even a possibility. Do you think that they made Doom Iron Man for people who are like I don't want no girl Iron Man that hashtag not my Iron Man do you think that's why they made two of them cause you know what I think that might be why I mean comic book fans aren't exactly known to be they're garbage people garbage people not (laughs) exactly accepting of change yeah anything sort of changes in anything in any of the continuity and comic book fans lose their minds. But I'm going to say right now, Riri Wilson, Williams, and uh, Victor Von Doom, both as Iron Man, I like 
I really enjoy it. Because, I mean, I can kind of connect with Riri because yeah. she's kind of she wants to keep working to kind of get away from not her life but not well not her pro but the things that kind of are getting her down and I can kind of sympathize with that and Victor Von Doom saw what it was like to be a bad guy saw what it was like to be a god and saw that you know really everything he was doing was kind of just futile and he just I, I like I don't know if Victor is being since Dr. Doom is being sincere about it but it kind of seems like he's just tired yeah because he had pow he had all the power in the world and he still couldn't do what he wanted to do or he couldn't change what he thought he could and he's just like you know what if this isn't if being evil if having all this power isn't getting at me anywhere screw it let's try and be good for once and i can kind of again sympathize with that like yeah doing whatever it takes and then still not getting what you wanted and then finally just being like you know what let's let's just try it a different way i mean but right now i think dc's on a better track than marvel yeah because marvel just like how many spider people do they have right now? They have Gwen Stacy as Spider Gwen. They have uh, Spider Woman. They have uh, Miles Morales. And then they have just normal Spider Man. They have no Peter then they Parker. Have, then they have Spidey. And then they have which Spidey. Which is a different Peter Parker Spider Man. I don't know if and it's related. I'm just sitting there going like, we have five Spider Men. Or five Spider People. Maybe... Like, are they all in the same universe? I, I don't know. Oh, I and then we've got are. that... I, I don't know if it's still canon, but we've got that... The, the, the spider. SPD slash slash R. Written by... I... Michael Romance guy. Don't... I, after the, the Spider-Verse... I know there was that whole thing, and I think that's around when that happened. Because there was, like, Spider-Verse, Spider-Island... Superior Spider-Man. I love Superior Spider-Man. That was a neat Dr. story. Dr. Octavius yeah. is fucking Peter Parker. That was great. Um, but uh, now apparently they're doing a clone saga where it's like they're taking all the clone... Like, it's just... The spider... <laughs> the spider... Whatever... The spider people army needs to be culled a little. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's very... It's... Spider-Man is like the... Bread and butter. Well, no, I was going to say it's the the, the Batman equivalent yeah. for Marvel. Because the Bat family, air it, control. It, yeah. Because we've got Batman, Batgirl, Batwoman, Nightwing, uh, Red Hood, Red Robin, Robin, Teen Titans, Mother Panic. Um, it's not officially part of the family, but still. There's like Enigma and Duke... Yeah, and yeah, now there's... I don't even understand Duke. And I'm currently reading Batman. I don't understand what's going on there. Because that's one of those things that... His family... His... Kept canon from something I wasn't reading. And they're like, I'm... He's like, I'm not Robin. I'm Duke. And I'm like, yeah, but who are you? I, I think, know who you yeah, are. Yeah, his uh, family... He he really came into the... Pic his, his big moment was with... Um, I can't remember. Didn't tell you. I know nothing about it. But I think it was in the New 52 when he was introduced. He like, was probably near late. The end. I was going to say, because I was reading. When they first launched New 52, I was like, neat, I can get into comics now because they're not in the 900s. Yeah. So I started picking it up, and then it very quickly got out of hand. And I just was like, oh, I'm too overwhelmed. So when they rebooted it again, I've done a much better job of keeping up. But because they were real picky about like what stayed canon what isn't canon anymore i'm just fucking lost when it comes to batman anyway everything yeah. else seems fine um what else <laughs> it's 
still watch an anime. Mm -hmm. Nothing really new. Um, Is it? That's it. Well, let's go back to comics then. Okay. Because I think there's a lot to talk about there. Okay. Okay, so... Now, despite the fact that you and I go buy comics every Wednesday... Not every Wednesday. Well, there, it's, I, it's I, often I, enough I've got a to little... say every Wednesday. Okay. Um, I actually don't know if either one of us keep track of what the other person's reading. We no. just go, here's what... I'm looking I know you're reading, we go home. I know you're reading Batman, Scooby-Doo, and Harley. Well, I, well uh, I was going to ask, before in the last few months, were you deep into comics, or did you sort of have this touch-and-go relationship where like, you'd pull up a wiki or watch a video, but you didn't actually read the comics? Because that, that was my relationship for years. Um really wasn't until I started reading um, <coughs> Saga that I think I really got back into comics. I don't know what got me back into it. Well, I was never really in it to begin with. Yeah. Uh, I, I guess... Well, I mean, I, I've, I've talked about it to a hundred people, but... When I... I hated Batman. I hated everything. Yeah. I had no real interest in comics. I'd still go see the Marvel movies because, like, I know the characters. I know who they are. You know, I might not know everything about them. Um, but I, my relationship changed when I got... Uh, someone just handed me The Dark Knight and was just like, just read this, shut your mouth, and hey, they were right. It changed my mind on comics. But then the whole New 52 thing happened, and then I fell out, and that's when it really turned into... Just wiki diving until until the DC rebirth, and now I'm, now I'm back in deep. But Marvel or DC? This is like oh god. Um, before the reboot. No, right, right now. Right now, I'm going to go with DC. There's more... Like, I'm honestly enjoying reading DC more than I am Marvel. Yeah. Um, I don't know what they're doing with Venom, which kind of upsets me, because that's another character I enjoy. Um, it seemed for the longest time he was in space, and then now... There's a part of the Venom symbiote stuck to this ex-Marine who's used... And it's the saddest thing to see because this ex-Marine's, like, just the biggest asshole. And the Venom symbiote's just like, no, we could be used for good. And he's, and then this Marine's like, no, we're gonna do, we're gonna do some real just dickish stuff. And yeah. the Venom symbiote's suffering. Because of it, and it's just really it, it it pains me to watch. Now, are you reading like a a good chunk of Marvel and DC? No, I mean I'm well. Like, okay, I, I shouldn't say a fair chunk because obviously there's way too many series yeah. going on for both to read a good. chunk. I mean I'm reading. I should say like, are you reading about an equal amount Marvel DC? Um. I mean, Iron Doom, Riri Wilson, Venom, and then I was reading Raven, Teen Titans, and Batman Beyond. Yeah, so that's pretty much. But I mean, I don't think that's a fair kind of, uh, I don't think that's a fair kind of, like, there are more comics out there and that's just like a little bit of the overall well yeah but i mean you're only gonna read what you're into right yeah like i'm not gonna pick up everything um now i <sighs> despite the fact that i think i used to always be dc mm -hmm. i think i i'm 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 a marvel boy now oh and it's just because not even if you look at them both as a whole, I mean, I'm 
I'm reading about the same amount of each. Uh, but, like, one of the DC ones doesn't even count because it's, it's a DC comic, but it's not in the universe. Mm-hmm. Like, Scooby Apocalypse is not going to run into Superman. It's just not going to happen. But, so I'm reading Batman. And honestly, I love Batman. I don't know if I like his comic. Oh. It's, I don't know, it's not doing it for me. It, it started off strong. With uh, Gotham and Gotham Girl, but now they're relying heavy on kind of a shitty villain, Psycho Pirate. Psycho Pirate? It, who just. Didn't you like Psycho Pirate? No, I mean, he's got a cool design, but he just amplifies emotions, so it's. I don't know. Just drives people insane. That's his whole thing. Well, I mean, didn't. Uh. Isn't that uh, Joker's bit? Well, Joker's gone. Thank God. He's kind of all three of them. It's not talked about anymore. At least not in Batman. Uh, I'm reading Harley Quinn. And now I think Har- as far as DC goes, Harley. No, okay. Scooby Apocalypse is my favorite DC comic I'm reading. Okay. But that's just because it's super different. Yeah. But then it's definitely Harley Quinn because that is a lot of, you know, just two or three epis two or three issue arcs. From what you were saying, it's like short and sweet and you don't really need to you, you can jump in anywhere it seemed pretty much. Pretty much. Well, yeah, because like I said, it's two or three issues per arc. And even still, you could miss the first part and kind of catch up and be like, "Yeah, okay." I don't know exactly what happened before this issue, but, like, I could piece it together. Um, But it's a lot of fun. I like how they write Harley Quinn's accent. I've never seen any comic or book write an accent. Okay. So there's a lot of, like, Mr. J, and it's spelt nine paragraphs long. And it, like, it's actually almost a struggle to read. But it's kind of charming. Because everyone knows how Harley Quinn speaks. I mean, if you've paid attention to anything. Yeah. Um, despite the different voice actresses, you know, she's always sounded... She's always had the, the same mannerisms. Yeah, the kind of... Uh, the staple will always be the Batman, the animated... Uh, the yeah. animated adventures of Batman. Yeah. Uh, Harley. That will always be the staple. And she's still very much... Talks like that. It's a... In, in sort of going off that, I like when people write in things like that. So, one of the favorite things I've ever seen do that is, uh... As much as I have put a hard ban on them recently, Telltale's, um... What's the one with the wolf? Wolf Among Us? Sure. Well, the one based off Fable. Yeah, Wolf Among Us. Um... Early on in the first episode, you break a guy's jaw, and yeah. the subtitles are slurred. And I was like, it's a nice touch. I like that. So that's what this is doing. But I only, last week, started reading Marvel. And one of them, I don't know how I feel about it yet. So I started uh, Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur. Yeah. I heard it's good. I've only read the first issue. I don't quite know how to feel yet. Yeah. Because I mean, it's a Marvel character I don't know anything about. Mm. I know nothing about her. Her story so far is a little plain. Like, she's an incredibly smart Yeah, she's girl. a real smart girl, and she doesn't want anything to do with school, because she's real smart. Yeah. It's, 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 it's kind of the same as... It's the comic book Matilda, if instead of magic it was a dinosaur. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's kind of the same as uh, Riri Wilson as uh, be- taking over for Iron Man. It's she's too smart. Well, she's not too smart. Like she still tries to be like her father tries to instill this every like every day. She's her father would tell her it's a wonderful day. Yeah, and it's kind of trying to keep her grounded because they were really worried that if she didn't have friends or if she kind of focused too much on work, she'd eventually isolate herself from her own humanity kind of thing. So I'll basically go into like spoiling the whole first issue 
So, like, I'm excited to see where it goes. So, so I guess it said very early that she's inhuman. Yeah. I don't really know what that means. I know it's basically they're, they're a the mutant. Mu- yeah, they're the new mutants. <clears throat> but we'll, I'll see what that turns into. Because that means, from my understanding anyway, that means she has some power. I think it's her intelligence. Yeah, it's a boring or... power if that's all it is. But, uh, the, I mean, the dinosaur's kind of cute. It's not as, despite its name, Devil Dinosaur, it's not as angry as I thought. Yeah. Like, she scolds it, and it does, like, the whole puppy dog thing of, like, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> but, like, it's kind of charming to see this little girl and a giant Tyrannosaurus uh, just evacuate a school. Why do you have an elf comic? Because I spent a lot of money down at the comic book store one day, and they're like, here, have a whole bunch of old comics... And every so often, I'll just go through them, because I have the one issue where Spider-Man gains the power of flight, Yep. and then just this elf, super-sized annual elf comic. Why? <laughs> because they really wanted to get rid of them. <laughs> and what? that, yep. Uh, the other Marvel thing I'm reading, and, and I liked this character pre- Marvel now, mm-hmm. but She-Hulk. Oh, She-Hulk, yeah. Now, I'm a big fan of Hulk, big fave, but... Now, I didn't read Civil War two, but Hulk's dead. I know that. Yeah. Now, I don't know exactly the whole deal, because that means there's still two Hulks. Yeah. Because She-Hulk has dropped the She, it's just Hulk. So when you pick up the comic... It's not Hulk number two I'm looking for. It's, or it's Sorry, it's not She-Hulk number two. It's Hulk number two, just with Jennifer Williams. Or okay. Jennifer Walters, sorry. Um, but they still have that other Hulk they introduced, I think. He's part of <coughs> the champions now, I think. Well, see, the, the problem is I'm reading two different timelines. And one is post-Civil War. And one is pre-Civil War. So we don't exactly know what happens. Because... Uh, I'll say She-Hulk just to... Keep confusion to a minimum. Is clearly post-Civil War. Because Hulk's dead. Blah, yeah. blah, blah. But at the end of... Uh, Moon Girl and Double Dinosaur. She meets up with that new... Uh, like that high schooler Hulk. Yeah. And I'm like... Is, is he still around now? Because... I, I know the first issue of Moon Girl is, uh, you know, it's a couple months old, so it's pre- it predates the Civil War. Mm-hmm. So I don't know what's his deal. But anyway, big fan of sassy single female lawyer who likes to punch things. Big fan. Uh, she very quickly became my favorite, maybe one of my favorite Marvel characters, because she has everything I like the Hulk about her, because... Hulk's just dumb, overpowered nonsense. Yeah. But I don't like Bruce. But She-Hulk is just the Hulk. But then Jennifer is still a good character. Yeah, okay. Jennifer's heads and tails above Bruce. And, uh... So before it was all dealing with her being a lawyer, and that was fun. And now she's still a lawyer, but now she has... You know depression in flashbacks because she watched her cousin die. At least I think they're cousins. Pretty sure. Okay. So she lost someone significant in her life. Well, yeah. Hulk's significant in her life. Oh. Yeah, that's what I mean when I say her cousin. Oh, okay. I mean Hulk. She watched him die. Um, and there's a really good scene of, like, how you don't clue in how that would fuck with somebody. Because a lot of people in the Marvel world don't exactly see Hulk as a good guy. Everyone knows he's kind of unhinged. Yeah. He, he can be a problem. Yeah. So she's walking through the park one day, and there's kids playing Hulk. And he's the bad guy. And they these kids just beat him up and kill him. Wait, seriously? Well, fake okay. kill. They're, they're okay. just playing around. And then she... But seeing a bunch of kids being like, hey, Hulk, you're dead, ha ha, I'm... I'm gonna kill you. That would kind of suck. I mean, if you lost someone important and you 
and you saw a bunch of kids in the, you know... In the playground. Or... Yeah, across the street here. You saw a bunch of them being like, hey, let's play uh, Kill Duncan's Dad. Wouldn't you be like, that's kind of a shitty game to play. <laughs> but I can't really fault them for it because they're kids. Well, no. And she doesn't. She doesn't lose her mind. She just goes, well, that was shitty and, you know, and walks moves away. on, okay. Um, but it's just her dealing with depression and anxiety and obviously dealing with... in Where she knows she's at this really emotional state. She's She still hasn't transformed at all in the comic. Okay. Because she knows the second it'll be bad. Yeah, because this usually when this when the Hulk persona comes out, nothing good um, kind of comes. Yeah, from in, it. in the old pre Civil War one, she could control it pretty well. Yeah, and she could keep a level head even in Hulk form. But now she knows it's gonna be bad. Yeah, and there was just like a kind of a funny little moment, but also like you can tell she's cracking because she just watches cooking videos to calm down. Which is kind of charming. But she presses pause on the video and she just shatters her phone. Because it's starting to come through. So I'm excited to see where this is going to go. Because I think she might turn into a, a bad person. I don't think she'll turn well, into a bad person. Well, not bad, but, but she's. I think she's going to pull a Bruce Banner and become a something, problem. Something's going to push her over the edge and someone's going to come along to try and say... Not not save, but try and calm her down. Yeah. And, uh... It, yeah, and they haven't shown any other characters yet. Do you think she'll stay, stay a lawyer if she does? Because... Well, she, she stayed one uh, before, so okay. it's entirely possible. But she also had her own office before. Okay, now she, now yeah. she works for someone else. So, may, maybe we see... Maybe the comic goes and has her does, do that again. Which, honestly, that's fine. As long as she's being a lawyer. As long as they can keep Jennifer interesting, I'm in. Okay. Uh, now, one thing I, I should have talked about in, in the week. Uh, you were there when I picked it up. Picked up uh, Archie. Okay, yeah. <coughs> and uh, because, you know, I'm pretty hot on that Riverdale. <laughs> Speak high of it. Yeah. It, and, uh, you know, I was watching more of that the other day. And I, I, I have come to realize that show is just 2017's Days of Our Lives. It's just a soap opera. But, I don't know. It's got me. So anyway, I, I'm interested in the world, so I picked up the comic. The comic's garbage. They, they have not changed the Archie formula. Really? I've only read issue one, but the entire issue, there's no hook. At least the first episode of Riverdale... It opens with, there's a murder. And I'm like, alright, I'm in. This is, uh... Gosh, gang, Betty sure is cute. And I'm like, that's the whole issue. <laughs> now, does this tie into the show at all? Not or? at all. There's ads for the show all there's over the ads. place. <laughs> and I'm like, well, now you just make me want to go watch the show instead. Uh, I might pick up another issue to see where it goes. Because they, they allude to something called the lipstick incident. Uh, but I imagine that's not as compelling as a murder, so, and also, if anything, it's just fucking with my head, because now I have two Archie timelines, one of which he's sleeping with his teacher, one he isn't, one his dad is like, grr, Archie, you should be into sports, not music, and the other one in the comic, it's his dad that pushed him towards music, so they're completely opposing each other. So, I, I, I will probably just cut out the comic to avoid confusion. We talked a while about comics. We sure, well, because there's, there's lots to talk about. Comic, I suppose it comics is. Comics are neat. I suppose it is kind of a bigger part of our lives right now. It, it, yeah. I mean, it, it is sort of. The, the paint hasn't worn off for me. It, comics are pretty new for me going, you know, nearly every week to pick up the new issue to... I mean, they're just so much cheaper than make. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, but, and you and I are the same. We share our favorite comic book, which is Saga. Yeah. When's that coming out? End of next month. End of next month? Nice. 
But for whatever reason, despite that being yours and mine, bo- it's both of our favorite comic. We don't pick up the single issues of that one. No. Because there's way too many. When I start, when I got Saga number one, they were already into, I think, the third volume of single issues. Yeah, they're in the, I think they're in the 40s right now. Yeah. For that's, single issues. That, and I was just sitting there going like, I'll just wait for the volumes to come out and not the single issues because that's insanity. I, and I'm glad that it's... I think when I can start a comic book steer- series at the start and not and I'm not jumping halfway in that I'm that I pref- like I prefer that over being like okay what number of comics are we on number 40 fuck that See I like that despite its high praise and I think it's a relatively popular comic it's not your Batman or your Superman No and I don't have to I can still go on my nerd sites daily and not be worried about saga spoilers ever yeah it's never been a problem barely see anyone talking a new issue could come out i'm not gonna see anything yeah now i'm not going onto comic book websites i'm just going to like nerd Nerd websites you know nerd in general so they're only talking about your big comics yeah but uh yeah comics are neat More, more people should read them. Yeah. There's something for everybody. Pro- and then probably. some people are just cantankerous assholes and nothing makes them happy. Well, I mean, that, that, was, that was you and I for a while. Yeah. Um, so so the, only, the only piece of, like, semi... Actually, okay, two pieces of news. Okay. Game-related this week. Okay. In one half of one of them I know you don't care about but they released three screenshots one of Kingdom Hearts 3 which I know you don't care about yeah game looks good that's and, nice and two of Final Fantasy 7 do is you is that actually coming? do you care about that game at all I mean at this point it's kind of I don't care have you ever cared um well I, I know we've you, you've mentioned to me There's, before you don't like Final Fantasy. I don't enjoy it. No. Um, but, I mean, I remember going to my babysitters every day after elementary school. And her son had a copy of Final Fantasy VII. And going from the starting city into the open world map of Midgar. Yeah. I just sat there going like, this is insanity. This is what, like, what is this new open world? We, like, what is this? Yeah. And that kind of blew my childlike mind. And now, and that was, like, that, my first time experiencing that, that was great. Yeah. Um, but whatever they're doing with Final Fantasy VII now, the remake, I, it's at the point where they were like, Final F- Fantasy VII Remake. We're going to do this with it. It's going to be episodic. And I'm just sitting there like, that's the worst thing you could do. Okay, well, even, now you said you don't like the games, but, you know, you, you clearly have some little nostalgia bit for that one in particular. Yeah. Say it comes out, gets great reviews. Would you pick it up? No. I'm on the fence. I'm on the um, fence. Just the idea of it being episodic is... I, I I don't need that. I don't want that. Because look how long it's been t- c- taking to come out. It's fine. Are we going to have... Okay, so when was it announced? 2015, I think. 2015? Two years ago? That sounds right. Okay, so uh, let's, say, let's be generous and say it comes out this winter season. Yeah. Do we have to wait another two years for the next one? It, okay, if they're smart... And is there going to be enough kind of interest for people to continue playing it i think how if they do the episode of thing i think how like other than other than the hardcore final fantasy 7 fans who else is gonna keep playing it but if there's one now i would normally say don't cater to just your hardcore audience 
Yeah. Because that's never enough. If there's one thing where the hardcore audience might be enough, it's probably that game. I mean, I still, within the last month, rewatched videos of people's reactions to the remake announcement. And G4's got, like, the great one where they, like, jump up on chairs. It's almost touching. And, I, like, I don't have an attachment to that game. I've never been super big on it. But if they're smart, the game is mostly done. And then they do a sort of what The Hobbit did, which is release one every year. As long as they're... So you're saying, like, they've got most of the game... No, th- this is an ideal world. Okay. This, this is, is an if ideal they're world. smart, before episode one comes out, 80% of the entire series is done. And then, so that way you're guaranteeing you're hitting that one year from that episode, yeah. you'll get your other episode. Or maybe even sooner than that. I, I guess it all depends on how long each episode is. Yeah. Or if it's any good. I'm on the fence because CyberConnect's doing them, and CyberConnect is a hit and miss company at best. Um, I mean, I really enjoyed the Dot Hack series. Yeah, but they're not good. They're not good, but it was Dot Hack, and I think that's the only reason I enjoyed it. Uh, and the the only other news piece that's semi relevant, and I know you don't care, Pokemon Go. It's back. It's back, baby. It's back, baby. <laughs> uh, Gen 2 came out fully, not just... A few. Not You can hatch some eggs and maybe get one. Um, now, I hung on to the game you were for playing, a while. Yeah, you were playing... You were dedicated. Uh, not dedicated, Like, but long after everyone else, I knew stopped. Yeah. I was still like, not, nah, you know, I'm still hatching my eggs. Now, there's a few people at work who are more diehard than me. Yeah. But, as someone who doesn't really like Pokemon... You just like... I played it for a long yeah. time. You like seeing the numbers go up, the boxes get ticked. Nah, I mean, I think everyone in my age bracket has some connection to at least Gen 1 and Gen 2 of Pokemon. Because mm-hmm. you were the target audience. I was the target audience when Gen 1 and Gen 2 came out. And by the time Gen 3 came out, I was... Already on to the Superior Digimon at that point. So Superior Digimon. So that's when Pokemon lost me was Gen 3. How many games did Digimon have outside of Japan? Too many. Outside of Japan. Too many still. Because they're all bad. (laughs) Except for Cyber Sleuth. Actually fantastic. In my Pokemon style game of the year, it beat Pokemon Sun. For goddamn sure. Um... But no, it, it's, uh, I gotta say, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling a little warm inside again, pulling it up, actually catching things now, if that it I wasn't, care about. Now, if it wasn't the dead of, the dead of winter, yeah. would you be out there more catching shit? No, I don't know if my relationship, well, because my relationship was never the, the hardcore of, I never played it, I never left my house to play it, I would just play it if I was leaving the house. Okay. Um... But we'll see. We'll see if it gets to the hype that it was at. Because, I mean, it was... I mean, the entire city shut down when it launched. Jesus. Yeah. Um, and I was telling some people the other day that if they're smart, mm-hmm. Gen 3 comes out in the summer. Yeah. And everyone goes out again. <laughs> Even if it's just for a week or two. Which is really all the first one was anyway. Um, no, it was months after. Like, well, probably, the entire but... summer, it was just Pokemon Go, Pokemon Go, Pokemon Go. And then once the summer ended, it was like, hey, Donald Trump might actually be the president. <laughs> Whoopsies. Uh, but yeah, it's, uh, I don't know. It's I, I still would argue it's not a game, but it's a, it's a fun app. It's a fun app. I like catching the things. I kind of wish that there was an actual pokemon battling system and not this swipe to evade and sw- yeah it's not a great battling system that's i don't like it at all <laughs> i don't know but when, you know my contract's up maybe i'll look into getting a new phone you can already play it 
Yeah, but it kills my battery. It kills everyone's battery. Okay. <laughs> when, I, when I stopped playing it, which was really only like two or three weeks ago, I was like, oh my god, my, my phone can hold a charge now. <laughs> uh, so, so because you, you mentioned weather, yeah. let's talk about weather for a minute. Because we this week oh, has been madness. chaos. So, two snowstorms. Obviously, Atlantic provinces get snow pretty normal. Well, it's been kind of weird the last couple years. Well, no, yeah, but still, snow is expected. It, it's guaranteed to snow. But every the year. last couple of years have just been insanity. But to yeah, to, but to have yeah, especially to have the amount of snow that doesn't close schools. Shuts the entire city down. Well, that's the problem with Halifax. There's nowhere for the snow to go. Well, it's I, all I, being piled up on the sidewalks or being dumped out into <clears> the <throat> harbor, and then everyone's like, it's not environmentally friendly because you're dumping road salt into the fucking harbor. And it's just like, who thought this was a good idea? See, I get super uptight about snow. And actually, before I get into that, how do you feel about snow? I love it. Good. That's the right answer. I love snow, too. I mean, you were the only other person who was willing to go to the park with me that one day and just walk in the snow. Yeah. No. And, and, and Usually, we don't... I wouldn't get winded walking to the park, but there was just so much snow that halfway there, I was like, okay, I might have to take a break. And now, like, I, I love the snow, but I will admit that the city's handling of the snowstorms this week a bit less than ideal. I mean, going to work in stepping in snow that's literally... Three, four feet deep. I'm six foot three. Last time I checked, there were snow banks that were up to my waist, yeah, or higher, like well, over my shoulder. If you, I mean, if you're walking through places that the sidewalk plows are just, I mean, they're just pushing it to the side. Yeah. Obviously, they're not moving it. I'm seeing banks that are over five feet high, easily. Yeah. It's insane. You can't see anybody. Because everyone just takes all the snow from their driveway and all from the snow from the road and just puts it on the sidewalk and they're like, there, deal with that. And then everyone who has to walk everywhere is just like, you know what? Fuck every one of you. Yeah. Fuck every one of you property owners. You can all go to hell. So, uh, so this week, you know, had, had, uh, we had, like, what, two, we had we technically two... three snow days. Yeah, but... Well, no, one, we what, one was an actual, like, don't come to work, don't come to it's work. a health risk. Like, I live across from soup, from a superstore. I couldn't see the superstore from, thanks to all, just because of all the snow. Oh, don't. False alarm. Oh, Jesus Christ, don't do that to me. I don't like, I don't like my computer. It's awful. It's a <laughs> scary machine. Oh, Jesus. Um... But no, and then, and then we had those two days where, like... It snowed. We had work, but, like, if you didn't show up, it wasn't, uh... Like, you had plausible excuse yeah. to be like, I can't make it in. Like, physically. Monday, Monday, the big snowstorm, it wasn't... Like, I sat there and I was like, I'd like... like it was like, it's a snow day, I'm not gonna come in. And I'm sick. Yeah. Because Monday was when it hit me the hardest. So I was just like, I'm not going in. I know people are in at work right now, but on top of the snowstorm, I'm currently drowning in my own mucus. But, like, I'm such... I get so angry. And people get mad at me in exchange, which they're right to get mad at me, because I'm getting there first. But when people are like, oh, I don't want to walk there because there's snow, I'm like, well, then fucking move to a different country. You live where there's snow. Get used to it. That gets me... That I mean, that's a 0 to 60 for me. Every time when someone's like, oh, there's too much snow, I don't want to walk. I'm like, leave. Go to a different... Go. Get out. It gets me so angry. Because I... Every, I, every year you know there's going to be snow and you're... Kind of thing? Yeah. Well, I, well, I love snow. And every, Okay, so... Of the people we know, I walk... I have the longest commute. Yeah. And I'll still show up to work early. At like 6.30 in the morning. And people will be like, oh, I'm going to be late because it's snow. I'm like, you no excuse. Get your pants wet. Who cares? It's fucking water. Bring a change of pants. Oh, it gets me so angry. 
And then, out of fucking nowhere, today, it's plus like, ten. Yeah. It's beautiful out. I've got my window open for once. I, sh- I showed up here in, like, the thinnest hoodie with my sleeves rolled up and I have no hat on. It was a gorgeous day That out. is the difference between New Brunswick <laughs> and Nova Scotia. Like, the south end, like... We're pretty. We're sent. I suppose Halifax is central, Close-ish south-ish. in the middle, yeah. But it's still far enough south that it could be plus ten here. But you drive four hours back home to New Brunswick, and it's just fucking thimble winter. Yep. Like it's the like it's just nightmarishly cold, and you're just. Because there was that time we went home for Christmas, and I went to, we went on the train, and I was in kind of my Overwatch jacket, and I was like, oh man, it's really nice. We get back to Moncton, it's just like, oh Jesus, I need to put on an actual jacket. See, I, I don't, the, now, as much as I say to people who don't like snow, like, hey, you know where you live in, you can move if you don't like it. I will say the coin 100% flips the other way when it's the summer because this city is the most humid city oh, it's I've ever stepped in. It's like June to October is 90 to 100% humidity. And the humidity. worst part is it didn't rain at all this summer. It sucks when you go out it, because, you know, said it before, I'm an early bird. I could leave for work at 6 in the morning or earlier still dark out and I'll sweat in a fucking t-shirt it gets so humid in this city yeah. I hate it um, when I was on layout um, she, I was working under our one of the, uh, Sheila yeah. and um, she had she had worked in Toronto and she said that it would get so bad and apparently they were packed like like we think our office is just tight and there's a lot of people. Whoever thinks that would be should thrown off a window. We have pretty decent desk space. Apparently, in Toronto, in this studio she was working at, they were packed in side by side, rubbing shoulders with the next person. Oh, that would be terrible. And it would get so humid that people would actually... There were people actually passing out from heat exhaustion in this studio. And I sat there going like, Jesus, <laughs> am I ever glad? And it, because beforehand I was kind of like, man, it's so hot and muggy. I don't like this. I'm not a summer person. Yeah. Like, if I could, I'd go further north. Yeah. I if, I, if I knew there was an animation job up n- further north, I'd go for <laughs> it. Animation's not real hot and white horse. I mean, it might be. We never know. That's true. And who knows? I've never looked. Maybe White Horse is worse in the winter, or in the summer, or whenever they ha- whenever their season is, because they have... Don't they have that weird kind of... I think they've got that weird, like... Actually, I just like don't Like, time of the day. Is, well, yeah, I think For, that, like, I a couple months, hit... it's perpetual night. Yeah, I think For they a couple do have months, that. it's perpetual day. yeah. And you need specialized blinds. Yeah, I don't want to deal with that. And suicide rates are through the roof because people don't see get vitamin D from the sun. And or is that Nunavut? I can't. That's, remember. I mean, it, it, it's they're all, you know, north. Yeah. So I imagine they're all. There's polar saving. bears up there. Yeah. I mean, I mean, that's that's how you judge <laughs> locations. Does it have bears or does it have polar bears? Yeah, it's all the same. Um, is there anything else you want to talk about? How long are we running? Oh, real, real, real short on this one so far. I feel what like we feel like we just gotta shoot the shit a little bit. It's a, I, I, I didn't say this going in. I don't want to jinx it, but I felt like this one's gonna be a little rough. Okay. And I'm feeling it. You're feeling because it? we're both running out of shit to talk about, and we've been running after I edit some of the stuff out in the beginning, probably. Shortest episode. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, that's what everyone's been wanting from us, so... Well, 
Too bad. Um, and that was the Power Moves podcast. If you uh, let's do the plugs right now. Um, yeah, you know what? We might as well because I mean I've got other things to talk about, but there there's such a. And even though this is exactly how like episode two I think went, where I just said fuck it, let's pull back and go in a different direction. The, I mean, if we got nothing, let's just end it here. Yeah, we might as well. Everyone should enjoy anime. Read some comics. Um, SpaceX finally. Uh, no, no. Oh, we're just no. Just end, end it. I just end, end it, it now. Okay. Uh, yeah, like like Duncan whispered. <laughs> I guess this is the Power Moves podcast. Uh, please. If this is if you manage to listen to this episode the entire way through, and this is your first one, go listen to literally any other episode. I think this episode was good. It we was were probably. passionate about comics. That's that's true. Um, I mean, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Can't win them all. Can't win them all. Uh, but yeah, it's a Power Moves podcast. Uh, if you want something, if you have something to ask, want some life advice. We want something for us to talk about. Shoot us an email, powermoosepodcast at gmail.com. Uh, follow us on Twitter. And by us, I mean uh, just me, because I'm the only one who tweets on the podcast's account. Uh, that's Power Moose Pod. Um, you can follow my personal Twitter, which I've been tweeting more recently. It's been pretty hot there lately. I'm uh, at Metal Gear Whale. Uh, Duncan's at Append Gray, I, I think. Yep, that's a safe bet. Um, and yeah, I, I, I guess that's it. Have a good one. Uh, it's a holiday for Duncan and I tomorrow, so uh, happy holidays, everyone. Go, go enjoy your family. <laughs>